afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to today's Wednesday, April 12th, 2023, Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Varsity Softball Action as your Walpole High Timberwolves host the Braintree High Wamps in a Bay State Conference Hergit Division game from Chauncey Smith Field on the Bird Middle School campus in East Walpole. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. I'll be providing all the play-by-play -play action for today's game, along with cameraman Nick Piccarilli. Walpole will be looking to make a two straight wins today after Edgy Needham 3-2 in their home opener. This win came after a 4-1 road loss to Abington in the season's lid lifter. The Timberwolves blasted out 14 hits against the Rockets, but left 13 runners stranded and will be looking to bring a few more of those across the plate against the Wamps. In fact, all of Walpole's starters except one had at least one hit in the victory. Sophomore pitcher Charlotte Stosinski was the big gun for the orange and blue, going three for four at the plate and firing a strong six hitter, striking out five and walking three. Freshman shortstop Sienna Cruiser chipped in with a trio of base hits from the ninth spot in the batting order, while second baseman Abby Kearns, catcher Ariana Cruiser, and third baseman Dora Broderick all added a pair of base hits. Broderick Roderick's base knock in the sixth inning plated Carolyn Doran with the winning run. Braintree brings in a 2-0 first place in the Hergit record and is 2-2 overall. The blue and white has beaten Needham 5-4 and Weymouth 24-7 while falling to Abington 3-2 and Bridgewater 1-0. The Wamps, who are 1-2 in the road, are at one position ahead of Walpole in the division, scoring eight runs a game and allowing four. Walpole is scoring two runs a game and allowing three. Going back to 2016, Walpole has won six of the ten games they've played with Braintree, including taking both contests a year ago, 10-2 and 9-2. Well, we have a second here. We would say anyone that's interested in providing play-by-play -play or color commentary on any Walpole High School uh, sport, you should contact uh, Walpole Media Corporation Director, Executive Director, Tamara Green at 508-668-7795 or by emailing her at tgreen at walpolemedia.tv. It's a fun thing to do. You get to see the game up close and personal. You get to uh, know the student athletes a little bit better than, you know, just your normal everyday person watching a game. Uh, anyone can do it. If you like to talk, if you know sports, if you just want to help out, it's a great thing to do. So if you're a parent, sibling, grandparent, aunt, uncle, cousin, neighbor, friend, anybody at all, you're welcome to do uh, join us on the Walpole Media Corporation broadcast team. Once again, you should contact Executive Director Tamara Green at 508-668. 7795 or by emailing her at tgreen at walpolemedia.tv. <clears throat> we, uh, the great weather is continuing this week uh, here in the Walpole area. Now that it was 81 when I was driving over here, so it's a very, very nice day. A lot of fluffy clouds up there, a little hazy, but still nice and warm. Very nice day. Uh, we'll give you the starting lineups for the two teams. For Braintree, uh, leading off play at second base, Catherine McPhee. The center fielder, uh, batting second, Jacqueline McPhee. The designated player, Eva Surrett, will be batting third, followed by pitcher Ally McNa uh, McNamee. Wait a minute, I'll get that out. Uh, Ally McNamee. 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 Uh, she'll be batting the cleanup spot. In right field, uh, you've got the batting fifth, Gabby Diaudi. First baseman batting sixth is Allison Curran. Play in left field and batting seventh, Brianna Murphy. Catcher Bella Westfold uh, will be batting eighth. And batting ninth is the shortstop, Lexi Donahue. Uh, playing third base but not batting, it will be Sarah Harvey. <clears throat> For your Timberwolves, leading off is the right fielder, Susie McAdam, followed by second baseman, Abby Kearns. Center fielder, Carolyn Duran, will be batting third, and Charlotte Strazinski, Strazinski, the pitcher, will be batting cleanup. Nora Broderick at third base will be batting fifth, followed by catcher Ariana Su Kruz Cruiser. Uh, Sienna Cruiser 
will be batting uh, sixth and playing shortstop. The designated player, Briella Clinton, will be batting seventh. First baseman, Brookby Arena, will be batting ninth. Uh, the first, so again, for Walpole, it's Mc, McAdams, uh, Kearns, Doran, Staszynski, Broderick, uh, Ariana Cruiser, Sienna Cruiser, Clinton, Arena, and then playing left field and not batting is Lindsey Jacobs. <clears throat> Walpole uh, had left uh, like we said, 13 runners on the base paths uh, last game a couple of days ago against Needham. And they're definitely looking to have some more of them uh, cross the plate today against the Womps. The Womps, as you see, uh, beat Needham, <clears throat> the team that we did. I think they also beat them by a run or two. Uh, uh, by a run, same as Walpole did. And they lost to Abington 3-2. to two. Walpole lost to Abington 4 to 1. So uh, these teams look pretty evenly matched. And uh, we will be getting underway shortly. Staszynski warming up on the mound for the Timberwolves. <coughs> Leading off for Braintree is the second baseman, Catherine McPhee. <coughs> Charlotte looks in for the first pitch of the game. It is a strike call right down the middle. <coughs> One strike pitch on its way, line drive, base it into the center field. So, uh, Braintree gets their lead runner on in the ball game. Coming up to the plate is the center fielder, Jacqueline McPhee. <coughs> it's a bunt, it's a beauty. Over to first, they got him. Going to third, they're gonna get the double play here, out. So it goes two to four to six. And then four to six, great play out there. Uh, heads up play by uh, Kearns to gun that ball over to uh, Cruiser covering shot. Uh, uh, yeah, so two down for Braintree, the pitch is in the dirt. Ball one. This is the designated player, Eva Soret. <clears throat> Ground ball to Kearns. She's up with it over to first. And the side is retired. So after a leadoff base hit, uh, Walpole was able to turn the double play and get out of the jam very quickly. Just a Five pitch inning for uh, Staszynski. Four of which were uh, strikes. For uh, Braintree in the first, they had no runs, one hit, no errors by Walpole, and nobody left on base. All right, leading off of Walpole will be the center fielder. Uh, I'm sorry, right fielder, Susie McAdams, followed by second baseman, Abby Kearns, and center fielder, Carolyn Doran. All right, on the mound for uh, Braintree is Ali McNamee. McNamee? McNamee, I guess. 
And leading off is right field uh, Susie McAdams. She bats from the left side of the plate. Susie was one for four in the last game. She takes a ball. A 1-0 pitch on its way. Swing and a miss. Foul tipped actually one and one. One one pitch on its way. It's a strike call. Ball and two strikes on McAdams. The delivery. Little blooper caught by the shot stop. One down for Walpole. McNamee is a left-handed pitcher. <laughs> now batting Abby Kearns. She takes a ball up high. Abby was two for four the last game. Swing and a miss, one and one. Strike two called. One and two pitch on its way. Just outside, two and two. Kearns thought about it but held up. And it was outside. Two, two pitch on its way. Strike three, swinging. And it brings up the center fielder, Carolyn Doran. <clears throat> uh, Carolyn was uh, one for four, scored the winning run in the sixth inning in the last game. <clears throat> Two down for Walpole. Nobody on here in the bottom of the first inning. <coughs> McNamee's pitch is a strike called. <coughs> Two strikes the count on Doran. There's a ball on the dirt. on the way, foul back. Swing and a miss, strike three. And the side is retired for Walpole. Three up, three down. At the end of an inning of play, we have no score from Chauncey Smith Field. McNamee threw 16 pitches that inning. 10 of which found the strike zone. For Braintree, in the second inning, they will have McNamee leading off, followed by the right fielder, Gabby Diaudi, and the first baseman, Allison Curran.
<coughs> so McNamee is a left-handed pitcher, but bats from the right side of the plate. <coughs> Staszynski looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Outside a ball. <clears throat> a little fly ball to right field. McAdams is there and puts it away for the out. One down. Brings up the right fielder, Gabby Diaudi. Yodi will bat from the left side of the plate. <clears throat> There's a ball. Ball two down low. Two and over oh, count. Little blooper, easy out for Nora Broderick at third base. Two down now. And it brings up the first baseman, Allison Curran. Strike call. One strike pitch on its way, high and away, ball and a strike. <clears throat> ball two up high. Two balls, one strike on Curran. Ball three, high and away. Zinski looks in for the sign, wind up in the pitch. Ball four down low. And Needham has their, uh, Braintree has their second base runner of the game. On a four pitch walk to current. And stepping into the play is the left fielder, Brianna Murphy. There's a ball. Right call, one and one. Ball two up high. Two balls and a strike. count. Ball four. Back to back walks issued by Staszynski gives Braintree runners on first and second with two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. <coughs> Ariana Cruiser going out to talk to her pitcher. Settle her down a little bit. Step into the plate will be the catcher, Bella Westfeld. Ball high. Strike call right down the middle. One ball, one strike. The count on Westfeld. 
Strike two. Ball and two strikes. Stazinski ahead on the count here. Swing and a miss, strike three, and she gets out of the jam. For Needham, uh, for Braintree, they had no runs, no hits, no errors, and two left on base. At the end of an inning and a half, we are scoreless. The first pitch to Stasinski on the way. Foul back. One strike. Foul back again. 0-2 the count to Stasinski, the Walpole pitcher. ball. One and two. The count. On the way. Foul ball. That will be out of play. The count remains a ball and two strikes. Down low, two and two. <clears throat> Foul back out of play. Count remains two and two. Stazinski hanging in tough in there. Two two pitch from McNamee on its way. Ball high. Full count to the Walpole batter. <clears throat> Clean up hitter for the Timberwolves. A little blooper, the second. Bobble, she beats it out for the base hit. Good hustle down the line by Stazinski. We'll give her a base hit on that. And it brings up the third baseman, Nora Broderick. Broderick was two for four, scored a run in the last game. Strike called. <coughs> One delivery will be on its way. Strike called. 0 and 2 the count to Broderick. <coughs> the line shot to left field. That's going to be trouble. That's going. <coughs> Broderick's round in second, going to third. She may try it. She's coming in all the way and beats it. A two run home at a center field, uh, left field. And Walpole jumps out to a two to nothing advantage here in the second inning. Coming to the plate is the catcher, Ariana Cruiser. She takes a ball inside. Actually, she got hit.
Pies are discussing. I, I think at first he didn't call a, a hit by pitch. Now they are. They're letting her go down. So hit by pitch. Walpole gets another base runner. <coughs> and the pinch runner for her will be Mackenzie Evans. Nobody out, a runner on first for Walpole. Two runs already in on a tremendous two-run blast by Nora Broderick to left field. <coughs> Coming to the plate is the shortstop Sierra, Sienna Cruiser. There's a ball. There's a bunt, it's a beauty down the third baseline. Rhoda got her, she's going to third, there's nobody there at third. Heads up base running by Evans. <coughs> so that goes five to four on the fielder's choice. So Walpole with a runner on third and it brings up the designated player, Briella Clinton. <coughs> ground ball. The third, bobbled, and nowhere to go. She hustles it down. All right, first and third. Runners at the corners for Walpole. Brings up the number nine hitter, Brookie Arena. There's a ball. And a stolen base for Clinton. <coughs> so two runners in scoring position for Walpole, for Clinton, uh, for Arena. <coughs> Still right call, one and one. <coughs> Swing and a miss. A ball and two strikes. The ball down low, evens the count of 22. Foul back, count remains two and two. Pitches on the way. Fly ball to, it's going to split the route fielders over the right fielder's head. One runs in. Here comes another run. <clears throat> and Arena goes in standing up to second base. And Walpole has a four to nothing lead. As they've exploded for four runs here in this uh, second inning which is as many runs as they've scored in the two previous games combined. So the bats are finding their way today. It will bring up the top of the batting order for Walpole, Susie McAdam, McAdams, and uh, she will be uh, looking to bring uh, Arena around. Arena in scoring position at second base. Strike called. A little foul ball, base, fear ball, and she'll beat it out. So first to third, again, the runners at the corners for Walpole. Abby Kearns at the plate. 
She takes a called strike. And McAdams steals second base. Oh, one pitch, foul back, 0-2, oh the count to Kearns. The slow roll of the third, shot stops up with it over the first, safe. And another run comes home for Walpole. Five to nothing, Walpole's lead. And uh, Kearns steals second. Pitch was a strike to Carol and Doran. 0 1, a count with one out still, two runners in scoring position for the T Wolves. Little pop up. And the first baseman makes the play. Good hustle by uh, Allison Curran, who was right at the fence when she caught that foul pop. Brings up the 10th uh, batter of the inning, Charlotte Staczynski. And she gets a little blooper that the second baseman couldn't handle. Broderick up with six runs in for Walpole this inning. Broderick up for the second time. She singled to left. Uh, no, she hit a two-run home and left her first time up. Well, quite the blast. But travel kept traveling, and I think she ended up scoring standing up even. Walpole with uh, six runs in this inning so far. Little blooper so goes out of play behind the Braintree dugout. 0 oh 2 the count. A two strike pitch on the way. Fouled off. Count remains 0 oh 2. <coughs> Strike delivery, swing and a miss, strike three, and the inning is over. But Walpole explodes for six runs on one, two, three, four, five, five hits. There were six runs on five hits, two errors, and two left on base. At the end of two innings of play, your Timberwolves are on top, six to five. for Braintree in the top of the third inning will be the number nine hitter, shortstop Lexi Donahue. Zinski was able to get out of a bit of a jam last inning where with two outs she walked a couple of batters but then struck out uh, Bella Westfield to end the inning. The first pitch of the inning is a strike to Donahue. Oh, 
one pitch, foul back. And quickly, Stazinski's ahead on the count, two and oh and two. Up high and away, a ball and two strikes. Foul ball goes out of play. <clears throat> One ball, two strikes, the count on Donahue. Stazinski's pitch up high and away. Full count. <clears throat> Swing and a miss, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Stazinski. And it brings up the top of the order, second baseman, Catherine McPhee. McPhee, a uh, single to center, her first time up. She takes a ball. <coughs> a 1-0 pitch on its way. Paul Strike or two. Look a little bit low. Two and zero. Oh. Two zero oh delivery. Ball three. Strike called. McPhee was taken the whole way. 3-1 <coughs> count. It's the Charlotte's pitch. It's ground ball right back to the mound. Underhand toss to uh, Arena and the two down now. And it brings up the uh, center fielder Jacqueline McPhee who hit into an unconventional double play uh, she dropped down a bunt. She was thrown out at first, but uh, then uh, uh, Kearns gunned the ball over to Cruiser at covering third for the double up. One ball. The count. Ball two skips its way into the plate. <coughs> Ground ball right to the first base, and Arena scoops it up, steps on the bag, and the side is retired. A 1-2-3 inning for Stazinski, her first of the game. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. All right, Cruza was hit by a pitch her first time up. <coughs> a ball up high. Ball two. Two and oh, the count to Cruiser. Ball three. <coughs> Strike call. Ariana was taking all the way on that pitch. Line drive right to the right fielder. She puts it away for the out. That was uh, Gabby Dowdy. <coughs> and it brings up to the plate shortstop Sienna Cruiser. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. As McNamee quickly gets ahead of 
<coughs> Sierra, Sienna Cruiser. Strike three call to Frozer on that pitch. Two down now for the Timberwolves, and it brings up the designated player, Briella Clinton. <coughs> Briella reached on an error her first time up. Fouls it off. Strike one. <clears throat> Strike two call. <clears throat> Ball one and two to Clinton. <clears throat> Close, but no cigar there. Two and two. Pop up. Second baseman there and puts it away for the out. And the side is retired. Three up, three down for Walpole in the third. We've played three innings here. Walpole's got six runs on five hits. Uh, they've played errorless ball and left two on base. Braintree has no runs, one hit. They've committed two errors and left two runners on base. <coughs> For uh, the Womps, it'll be the three, four, and five batters coming up. All right, leading off for uh, the blue and silver and blue uh, is uh, the designated player, Eve Surrett. She grounded to Abby Kearns at second, her first time up. <clears throat> Top of the fourth inning here from Chauncey Smithfield. Szynski's first pitch is outside for a ball. <coughs> ball two down low. <coughs> Two and zero, the count to Surrett. Stazinski goes into the windup. Here's the pitch. It's popped up, and it falls in just beyond the reach of Kearns. After a long run. <laughs> There's a ball up high, three and one the count to Surrett. Ball four. That's the third walk given up by Stazinski. Coming to the plate is the cleanup batter, who also happens to be the pitcher, Ali McNamee. She flied out to right her first time up. She takes a strike. <coughs> There's a strike, one and one. I was mistaken, that first pitch was a I thought it was a strike. I thought he said strike. A 0 2 pitch on its way. Ground ball to second. Goes over to shot for one, and that's all they can get. Four to six on that play. <clears throat> Kearns to 
uh, Sienna Cruiser. And it brings up the uh, right fielder, Gabby Diodi. We have a pinch runner, number 26, uh, Grace Malcolm. Here's a ball. Ground ball to Kern. She steps on the bag herself, but no play at first. Four run assisted. And brings up the first baseman, Allison Curran. Two outs. A runner on first. Top of the fourth inning. Walpole on top. Six to nothing. Foul ball down the right field line. Strike two called. High ball. One and two the count. Foul back. Count remains one and two. to delivery on its way, up high, evens the count at 22. <clears throat> Fly ball to right, that's gonna split the gap uh, over the head of a diving McAdams. Picked it up by Duran, she gets the ball in. Throw to third, safe. Triple for Curran. Nice effort by uh, Susie McAdams. But the ball just was over her head as she dove for it. So well, Braintree gets on the board here in the fourth. Brings up the left field of Brianna Murphy. She was walked her first time up. She takes a ball. <coughs> We're going to miss one and one. Ball two. Two and one. Ground ball to Kearns, easy play over to first, and the side is retired. Braintree did come up with a run, however, on one hit. There were no errors, and one man left on base. After three and a half innings of play, Walpole leads six to one. The first pitch is a ball to Arena. <clears throat> ball two.
Fly ball, that's gonna drop in for a base hit to center field. Arena gets her second hit of the game. And it brings up the top of the order, Susie McAdams. Susie is one for two with a run scored. She singled down the third baseline last time up. Tries a bunt, that's a strike. Ball outside, one and one. Ground ball, oh, hit the runner. So it's fielder's choice that goes in as, unfortunately for McAdams. <clears throat> she doesn't, that uh, because that would have gone in for a base hit, but it hit uh, Arena in the foot. She tried to jump over it and couldn't get high enough, and it hit her for the out. One out, runner on first. Ground ball to third. Over to first. Out. By Kearns. And that gets uh, McAdams down to second. And it brings up the center fielder, Carolyn Doran. Two down for Walpole in the bottom of the fourth with a 6-1 to lead. There's a ground ball to shot over to first, and the side is retired. Walpole had no runs, one hit. There were no errors, and one left on base. At the end of four complete, the score remains Walpole six, and need a, uh, what Braintree won. Kenzie Evans going out to left field for Walpole. like the only change. All right. Leading off for uh, the Womps is the catcher, Bello Whitefield, Walk Westfield. She takes a ball. Ball two. Two O delivery on its way from Stasinski. Yeah, it's a strike right down the middle. Two balls and a strike. <clears throat> Three and one, the count here in the top of the fifth inning. Three one pitch on its way, ball four. The third time in five innings that uh, Braintree's had their leadoff batter on. And it brings up the shortstop, Lexi Donahue, who struck out swinging her first time up. She fouls that one back out of play. <clears throat> one strike pitch. Line drive into left center field. This is going to... 
get, uh, get decide to hold up. Base hit. So runners on first and second. Nobody out for Braintree. Brings up the top of the order. Catherine McPhee he is one for two. Ball down low. <clears throat> and it hit her. So we've got the bases loaded with nobody out now for a brain tree. Timbles will have to bear down here. Brings up the center fielder, Jacqueline McPhee, 0 for 2. Ball up high. <coughs> Strike. One and one the count. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. The count on Jacqueline McPhee. Little blooper. Caught. Gets the run in, though. Nice diving play by McAdams. Makes the score 6-2 in Walpole's favor. Coach Sprague talking with the home plate umpire to see if they uh, thought the um, runner left early. Home plate on player says no. Oh, they do. <coughs> no. A one out. Runners on first and second for Brain, uh, Braintree. Foul back out of play by Sorette. Sorette is 0 for 2. She's grounded to second twice. <coughs> Right call, 0 and 2. Count in Stasinski's favor. Fly ball. Duran's there. She's got it. Nobody's advancing. Two down now. And it brings up the cleanup hit of the pitcher, Allie McNamee. McNamee is uh, 0 for 2. Foul ball, out of play. The one strike pitch is on its way. Ball high and away. One one delivery on its way. Ground ball right back to the mound. Stasinski feels it, tosses underhanded to Arena, and the side is retired. Braintree did come up with a run, however, on uh, one hit. There were no errors and two left on base. Through four and a half innings of play, Walpole's on top, six to two.
through five innings. Stasinski has thrown 79 pitches, 39 of which have been strikes. <clears throat> Leading off a wall pole in the bottom of the fifth inning will be the pitcher, Charlotte Stasinski. Charlotte has singled and reached on an error. Scored a run. Actually, it was the first run of the game for Walpole. Coming back up over our head. 0 oh 2, the count to Stasinski. Ground ball up the middle of base hit. Charlotte gets her second hit of the game. Brings up the third baseman, Nora Broderick. Nora with a two run homer to get things going for Walpole in their six run second inning. Tremendous blast to left field. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Strike pitches swung on and missed. 0 oh and 2 the count to Nora. <coughs> Come on, Come on, Here we go, 9. 0 oh, 2 pitch. Ball outside, 1 and 2. Two and two. <clears throat> McNamee's looks in for the sign. She goes into a windup. Here's the pitch. Line drive. That's going to be over the left fielder's head. And a triple, three bagger for Nora Broderick. Two bat massive hits. This one was to center field. And gives Walpole a seven to two advantage. Two well-stroked balls hit by Broderick today. Broderick just a sophomore. Carolyn Daly pinch hitting here. They've 
files at all. Breaks the count on daily. Ball down low, one and two. One two delivery on its way. Ground ball down the third baseline. Throw to the plate. Scored on that. Eight to two, Walpole's lead now. And it brings up the shot stop. Sierra Cruza. Oh, it doesn't look like her. It's uh, actually Sydney Bissonnet. It's not, it's Grace Todd. She lines a base hit up the middle. Runners on first and second, nobody out for Walpole in the bottom of the fifth inning. Back-to-back -back pinch hitters for the Timberwolves. And coming to the plate is the designated uh, player, Riella Clinton. <coughs> So runners on first and second, nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning for the T-Wolves. Orange and black threatening with two runs in so far this inning. Foul back off the catcher's mask. <coughs> Pop up to the third baseman. She gets it for the out. And it brings up the first baseman, rookie Arena. Arena's two for two with a single and a double. Scored a run. She takes a strike. Ground ball to second, over to shot, but one back to first, safe at first. Uh, two outs, and Daly gets over to third, so Waffles got runners at the corner, brings up the top of the order with uh, Susie McAdams. Susie one for three with a run scored. Yeah, it takes ball one. <clears throat> ball. 
Arena hustles down to steal second base. Two in scoring position for the Timberwolves. Ground ball, base it up the middle. And one more run comes in. Makes it nine to two now for Walpole. Runners still at the corners and Abby Kearns at the plate. Adam steals second. One and all the count. Foul back one and one on Keys Kearns. <coughs> Long fly ball. This is going to be trouble. That's over the left fielder's head. And she goes in, sliding in for a three-bagger for Abby Kearns. That makes it 11 to two. Foul ball, back. <clears throat> I think if the uh, Timberwolves can push another run across here, that'll end the game on the uh, slaughter rule as we are in the bottom of the fifth inning. Ground ball. Second baseman gets it over to first. Nice stretch by the first baseman. And the side is retired, but not before Walpole comes up with five more runs on... on five hits. There were no errors and one left on base. Through five innings complete, Walpole has got 11 runs on 11 hits. They've played errorless ball and left uh, four on base. Braintree has uh, two runs on three hits. They've committed two errors and left five on base. Stasinski so far has uh, thrown 79 pitches, 39 of which were strikes. She has given up, uh, she has struck out two and walked and walked three. All right, leading off in the top of the sixth is the right fielder, Gabby Diotto. She takes a strike. The foul pop up straight up. Ariana Cruz is there, the third baseman. Nora Broderick comes running in and makes a nice catch, sliding catch there. And it brings up the first baseman, Allison Curran. Curran is uh, one for one officially. She was hit by a pitch and tripled to knock in a run, the first run for the Womps. She takes a ball. Springs right through that one, one and one. Ball up high. Two balls and a strike. Foul back out of play. Count goes to two and two. Hey. 
swing and a miss, strike three. Stazinski gets her third K of the game. And it brings up the left field of Brianna Murphy, who takes ball one. And a miss. One and one. <clears throat> two down here in the top of the sixth inning. The Timberwolves on top, 11 to two. Foul back. One ball, two strikes. One, two delivery. Another ground ball coming towards me, but scooped up by a parent. Count remains a ball and two strikes. Foul back. Count still at a ball and two strikes. Strike three call. Three up, three down for Brain Tree as Stosinski records her fourth strikeout of the game. go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Walpole on top, 11 to two, and will bring up the pitcher, Charlotte Stazinski will come up. She is two for three today with two runs scored. they can push across a run this inning. That will end the game on the slaughter rule. Ten runs after five innings or more. A ten run lead. Stazinski has scored twice. Uh, been on base all three times. Reached in an error once. Two for three. Slow roller down the third baseline. That's foul. <clears throat> a one strike pitch on its way. Ground ball to shot. Over to first. And she's retired. One down. Brings up the third baseman, Nara Roderick. She's got a two-run homer and a uh, one-run triple. So two for three, two runs scored, two runs knocked in, three runs knocked in. <clears throat> Fouls it back, strike one. One strike pitch on its way. Slow roll of the shot. And she beats it out for the hit. Good hustle down that line. One out. Runner on first for the Timberwolves. We can hear that blue thunder rumbling across the field as the Timberwolves are rebelling against the Womps. Ball one up high to Loser. Swing.
swing back one and one. Ball up high, two and one. Ball going down and in safe is Broderick as she steals second to get into scoring position. Three one the count on Cruiser. Little blooper is caught by the second baseman. Two down brings up. The shot stop, Sienna Cruiser. Sienna is 0 for 2. She takes a ball. Foul back out of play. One ball, one strike. <coughs> Again, a ball and two strikes. Foul back. Count remains, a ball and two strikes. Two pitch on its way. Ball two and two. Up high, full count. Pitch ball four. on first and second, two outs here. And pinch hitting for Walpole was Sidney Bissonnet. Fouls it off. <coughs> Runners on first and second for Walpole. Two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Timberwolves holding an 11-2 lead. Foul back out of play. 0-2 oh the count to Bissonnet. Up high, 1-2. A line drive foul. Got a good piece of it, but just a little bit foul down that left field line. Count remains a ball and two strikes. Down low, 22. Ball three. Full count. The runners will be off with the pitch. Fly ball to the center field. And it's put away for the out. But Walpole left a couple of runners stranded here.
So after six complete, Walpole's lead remains 11 to two. Braintree down to their last outs here. It will be the eight, nine, and one batters. Uh, the catcher, Bella Westfield. She was hit by a pitch and scored the second run of the game for uh, Braintree. Uh, Lexi Donahue, the shortstop. She's one for two. And on the top of the order, Catherine McPhee who is one for two with a hit by pitch. Stazinski looking to uh, nail this one down and move Walpole to two and one. There's a ball down low. Strike one at the knees, ball and two strikes. Uh, two balls and a strike. Charlotte looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Up high, three and one. Three one pitch on its way. Strike two. Full count to Westfeld. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's three straight shot, uh, strikeouts for Straczynski. There's a foul ball by Donahue. Donahue one for two with a base hit to center. Ball up high. <clears throat> high and away. Two balls and a strike. One down for Braintree. It's a fly ball to right. McAdams there and makes a running catch. Nice grab. Two down now. And the Wumps are down to their last batter, their last hopeful. A leadoff batter, Catherine McPhee. One for two hit and hit by a pitch. She singled to open up the game, but then was doubled up. She fouls that one off, 0 and 1. Ground ball, slow roll of the Kearns over to first. Uh, she drops it. It's a base hit. So Braintree gets a life. <clears throat> and it brings up the center field of Jacqueline McPhee. She is 0 for 3 with a sacrifice fly. She takes a ball. Takes a strike, one ball, one strike. Wingy tried to hold up, couldn't get it around. One, two, the count. Sazinski's pitch on its way. Ball two, throw. <laughs> 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 
stolen base by Catherine McPhee to try and get into sco to, to get into scoring position for the Wamps. Two and two, the count to Jacqueline McPhee. Line drive right to Brookie Arena, and that ends it. So for Needham, uh, Braintree in the seventh, they had no runs, one hit. There were no errors, and one left on base. Walpole gets the win. Your final tally here, as Walpole used two big innings to do all their scoring. Six runs in the second, five runs in the fifth to take home the 11-2 victory. For Walpole, they had 11 runs on 11 hits. They played errorless ball and left uh, four on base. Uh, Wait a minute now, that's a little bit wrong here. Uh, uh, let's see. That, that we'll revamp that. 11 runs on uh, uh, on 12 hits. Uh, they played Everless Ball and left six on base. For uh, Braintree, they had uh, two runs on four hits. They made two errors and left six on base. Charlotte Staszynski goes the distance. She gets uh, five strikeouts and three walks uh, through uh, 92 pitches. Uh, a little bit more. I didn't do the last thing. So anyway, we would like to thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Girls Varsity Softball Action. Once again, the final score from Chauncey Smithfield, your Timberwolves moving to 2-1 and one with an 11-2 victory over the Braintree Wamps.